Candidates for regulatory affairs positions really need to understand the organization's business and its associated regulatory challenges. So looking at an organization's history with their regulators is a great starting point. There are many resources for this, but you can often go online to look at the financial disclosures that the organization publishes itself. Plus, you can go on to regulatory websites and look at anything that's public information there. But aside from that, getting the facts on where that organization is, what's really more important is the culture of the organization and the importance that management and the board place on regulatory issues. Any candidate really needs to be able to answer a whole series of questions about that regulatory relationship. Does the organization have strong credibility with its regulators or does its credibility need to be enhanced? If it needs to be enhanced, who's championing that effort? Are regulatory issues resolved in a timely manner? If not, why not? What are the reporting lines for the regulatory affairs team? Who will you be working with most closely? In what forum are regulatory issues discussed and addressed? What does the organization see as its regulatory priorities? Having a better understanding of answers to those questions will really help you understand how the position fits within the organization and really what the organization's goal is in dealing with their regulators. Turning around a difficult relationship with the regulators, which many organizations have had, um, can be a really energizing career challenge, but no regulatory affairs person can really drive that on their own. You really have to have the buy-in of the most senior executives, so it's really important to understand what their view is and the sort of resources that those senior executives are willing to put towards um, addressing any regulatory issues that might exist.